Inside here is something from Record Rack that is basically a spin cast mix. Now the pellets are designed to be able to go through your actual timer feeder, something that a lot of us have really wanted to see for a long time because the pellets offer more nutritional value than the corn does. So when conditions get tough uh, on your you know, native land out there, whatever you're dealing with, you basically now have a higher protein, calcium, nutrient type feed mixed with your corn, which as we always know is the, the golden nugget out there to bring animals in. And so, you know, when things are stressed, the, you know, they can't find their native forbs, so it's too dry, it's too hot, too cold, whatever. You got a little bit of extra oomph coming out of those timer feeders. And, you know, a lot of people now will probably throw more of this than they necessarily will corn because they're gonna get some of that nutritional benefit in, in a lot of those different type situations. And the pellets themselves have basically been designed to handle that moisture out there a little better than those typical pellets that go through your gravity feed. A lot of times when they get moisture on them, they'll expand. They're also a little bit bigger than these pellets here. So the whole design of these pellets is designed to be able to handle our timer feeders and provide that nutritional value. So I've been playing with this mix now for a few months. And I was a little skeptical at first because, you know, I've seen things like this to be attempted. And what I basically did, I said, man, I'm gonna go run it through several different timer configurations that we have on stand and fill and the winch ones and our traditional tripod ones that have different spinner plates. They have different mechanisms, have different funnels in them. Some of the feeders have no funnels. And I wanted to see how it would work and perform. And we had over about a, I don't know, two month period we had several different storms, some big, some light rain, and I had no issues after moisture, which is really important when you start talking about these pellets because the pellets in a lot of our gravity feeders, number one, they're a lot bigger. They're not coated to be able to handle the moisture. And so you can get gumming up in those gravity feeders. So you have to watch those, especially after big rains. These particular pellets here are smaller. They're designed to go through your timer feeders. I checked them on a lot of different models of timer feeders that we have out in the field through different storms that we've had over about a two month period. And I, I frankly didn't have any situations where, you know, where they gummed up, where they stopped the flow because, you know, stopping the flow basically eliminates the need for that feeder because it's, it's not working for you. But this proprietary product that Record Rack has come out with, I mean, it's so far for me in a couple months of testing has really proven to hold up well. Record Rack now offers a product you can run through your spin cast feeders that is a better attractant for deer and also provides a higher level of nutrition. Corn is a great attractant, but is lacking when it comes to the nutritional quality. Improving the nutrition density of the diet will aid everything from reproduction to antler development. Improve the nutritional plane you are providing for your deer with Record Rack Apex Spin Cast. Learn more about Record Rack Feed at recordrack.com.